I am Jason Swan with DB Services, and today we are going to discuss the important considerations that need to be taken when implementing the Financial Service Cloud. The Financial Service Cloud has a lot of great features, so if your company does banking, insurance, or wealth management, then this video will help you understand how to utilize these features in your organization. Grouping your clients into households is a great way to organize your clients in ways that are meaningful to you. To create a household, create a new account and select the household record type. Once the household account is made, you can start adding members to it, like your clients and their family. If this household is the primary group for added members, you can choose to roll up member data into the household, such as their financial accounts, their assets, and their financial goals. Think about what kind of relationships you want to see. Does your client have kids or other dependents? Does the household belong to any trust funds? Are there any indirect members you want to add, such as the client's employer or the family lawyer? Adding the right members can give a good context to a client and their household. Financial accounts are any client accounts that are managed by a financial institution. A financial account can be an investment account, a bank account, an insurance policy, an asset, or a liability. You can also create a financial account role to show what role the client has with an account, such as if they are a beneficiary, an accountant, or a trustee. To create a new financial account for a client or household, go to the Financial Accounts tab, pick a category, and then put in the new account details and information. Consider the type of financial accounts that your client has. Do you want to track their assets and liabilities? Do they have a brokerage account? Are any of these accounts held away? You can always mark a financial account as held away. That way, you can see a client's total financial amount while also knowing their wallet share percentage. The Actionable Relationship Center, or ARC, provides a new way to visualize and manage your client relationships. In the ARC view, you can see the root record, like a household, and the related records, like group members and financial accounts. Each of these records can be expanded to view each record's own relationships. Furthermore, you can create new records in the ARC view, as well as performing actions on the available records. While the default ARC view is pretty nifty, you can also create custom ARC views. When you add the right available actions and related records to your custom ARC view, you can make the ARC your one-stop shop for managing your clients. Action plans are used to list the necessary steps required to complete a business process, such as scheduling a meeting with a client or adding a new financial account. In order to make an action plan, you first have to make an action plan template. Once the action plan template is created, you can start adding tasks to it. When adding tasks to the template, consider every step required to complete the business process. What order should these tasks be completed in? Are any of these tasks optional, and what is their priority? How long should each task take? Considering every step needed for the action plan template will ensure that business processes are done on time without any hiccups. You can also add document checklist items, which are documents from driver's license to W-2 forms to blank checks, that may be needed to complete the business process. After publishing an action plan template, you can go back to the household page and create an action plan using that template. When interacting with the customer, it can be hard and tedious to track every detail of the interaction and then having to upload it on Salesforce. Luckily, the Interaction Summary object makes this quick and easy. You can see previous interaction summaries and add new ones by going to the Interaction Summary tab on the client account or household. Consider the important details of a customer interaction when creating the interaction summary, such as the purpose of the interaction, your meeting notes, the attendees, and the next steps. This ensures that you can look back on your interaction summaries to get the most information from your clients. Interaction summaries can also be shared with other people using the Interaction Summary Participant object. 
Since participant access level can be determined on a person or group basis, it is very easy to share an interaction summary while still maintaining confidentiality and security. Carefully considering who needs to see the summary and what sort of access they need ensures that only the right people have access to client details and information. Thank you for watching. We hope you have a better understanding of the Financial Surface Cloud and its features. If you want to learn more, contact us at dbservices.com.